Hi, my name is Vince Sheehan, and today I'd like to talk about The Romans, um, a Doctor Who serial, the fourth instalment of the second season of the classic series, starring William Hartnell as the Doctor. And um, just would like to give some thoughts about this, um, this story. Um, it's a four-parter, and it's hugely enjoyable. It's in a much lighter vein than we're used to with these early Doctor Who stories. And um, particularly as it's a historical story as well. And um, some of the previous depictions of historical characters from Marco Polo and the Aztecs, etc. Um, and um, the Reign of Terror. Some of the characterisation is, um, is quite heavy and... Um, serious but here it's a lot of fun a lot of fun and um, particularly Nero um, played by Derek Francis now the story really is the TARDIS dematerializes on a cliff and falls off the cliff and in somewhat confusingly then we kind of jump to the crew of the TARDIS dressed in these fine Roman clothes in uh, this luxurious Roman villa and I must admit, when I first saw this, it took me unawares and I thought I'd skipped, the DVD was faulty and I'd skipped a bit or something. But no, that's, that's, the, that's how it goes. And the, um, they're enjoying the good life and they've been there a month or so. Or so. But then Ian and Barbara fall foul of some slave traders and they're taken into captivity to be sold. And while this happens, the Doctor with Vicky, um, they find their way um, on the road to Rome. The doctor finds a dead body of a musician and because he looks a bit like him, he assumes his identity and he's taken to Rome, to Emperor Nero. In the second ep episode, the doctor meets Nero and Nero is this, this flamboyant, over the top, completely wicked character played brilliantly by Derek Francis. His eyes are like, kind of, look wild and mad. Um, and um, Ian, he's how you'd imagine Nero to be from countless, um, you know, school books, etc. And then Ian and Barbara's, are their, their fortunes are followed in Rome as well. Indeed, um, Ian ends, he, he finds this kind of fellow slave and he ends up on it being a kind of a rower on this slave ship. Um, and Barbara is uh, kind of auctioned off. But then um, in the third episode, which is hilarious, it's a real highlight, I think, of this season. Um, all these shenanigans are happening in Nero's court. Nero uh, takes a fancy to Barbara and he's chasing her around and his wife doesn't like it. Uh, Poppy, Poppea. And um, it's just great fun, it really is. Um, and then finally, in the, f the last episode, the Doctor inadvertently gives the idea for Nero to set fire to Rome and cause the, you know, the famous great fire of Rome. Um, you know, Nero, of course, famously uh, playing his fiddle, I think, as the fires of Rome burn. Well, here he's playing a liar. Throughout, we have this kind of shadowy character, Octavius, played by Michael Peake. And, uh, you know, at the, at the end, he turns out he's a good guy. He's helping Ian escape um, from the, uh, you know, from Nero's palace, etc. And uh, as he allows him to escape at the end, he's kind of holding a cross around his neck. And, you know, it looks like he's actually... Uh, one of the, you know, a Christian, which of course, um, you know, would have meant that he would have been uh, in danger of losing his life. Um, so that's quite a touching moment, I think, at the end of this, um, of this story. It's quite moving, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's a really interesting end to this story. And it's a really entertaining story. There's even um, Barbara and Ian, they seem to kind of really loosen up. There's almost this kind of flirtatious thing going on with them as well, particularly in the last episode. And um, yeah, they look like they're having a great deal of fun, let's put it that way. And um, 
Yeah, I, I really recommend this story. I just think it's... And William Hartnell's brilliant in it, of course. He's putting on a great kind of comedic turn. And, uh, yeah, great story, I think, this one, um, from season two. Um, please check out the, um, the brief PowerPoint I've, uh, I've included about the structure and themes of this story. Thanks for watching. Bye.